the back. Big, a lot of, uh, with a lot of uh, intensity in last night's game. Tough to win a game like this, but what does it say about what you guys were able to do in the second half and bringing, trying to get this game back uh, under control? Yeah, I mean, I think it's tough to win against any team off a back-to-back, um, especially when you consider one of the best teams in the NBA. Everybody's going to come and give you their best shot. Um, after last night, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of energy exerted into that game, but there's still no excuse. You know, we still got to come out here and do our job. Um, they just they were better than us tonight. And uh, but in regards to, you know, us trying to climb out that hole, I, I feel like that says a lot about us. Uh, I feel like we had that game under wraps, but we gave up an offensive rebound and they hit a three and that was a difference maker. And so it's those little things, those, you know, those possessions that change everything. I mean, we get that all, we get that rebound and we go down and, you know, Steph's rolling. Maybe he hits another shot. Maybe we get a foul, whatever. So, I mean, I think that says a lot about our perseverance and us, you know, coming together collectively and trying to, you know, pull, pull out a game because the fact of the matter is, you know, it's 82 games. You're not going to win every game, you know, off of talent. So uh, you got to find a way to win. Uh, we tried to, came up short, but, uh, I'm proud of my team. You know, I'm not one for moral victories. Um, And Draymond has said the same. Uh, You know, it says a lot about us, though. We tried to win, came up short. Next game. Juan, following up on that, you touched on it. You guys are a no-excuse team. But how much of what happened tonight early was maybe an emotional hangover from everything that was invested into last night? Um, I feel like if I say that it was, I feel like that's an excuse, but that's just me being a competitor. Um, but it's hard. We're humans, man. Um, like I said, it's the NBA. Everybody's going to come in the chase and give us their best shot. Uh, we just came up short. They were a better team than us today. Um, I still feel confident about my team and seeing that we are um, able to compete at a high level. And I feel like if we play that team multiple times, I feel like we're going to, uh, I feel like my team's going to have the edge. Um, but we lost tonight. So uh, I don't want to have excuses. I don't want to have reasons. I don't want to have anything about last night. We lost. Did you notice any similarities between the way uh, they approached Steph tonight and the way Phoenix has kind of had some success the past two games against him? Um, nah, I think uh, Steph just missed some shots tonight. He got a lot of good looks. Um but it's going to be like that. He's human, man. Uh, <laughs> it's funny to think that because he's so amazing at what he does, but he's still a human being. And, you know, some days he's going to have off nights. Uh, he got rolling late. And like I said, we tried to climb out of that hole. Um, we gave up offensive rebound. And so that's the whole team's fault collectively. Um, but no, nah, I don't really. I mean, our, our offense is just so, it's all about reads. So, uh, I don't really see any comparisons to how, you know, uh, Phoenix was guarding him last night. What kind of spark did that half-court shot going into the last quarter give you guys? Somebody hit a half-court shot going into the buzzer beater from Steph. To be honest, I don't remember that, bro. Not much that. So many plays. I mean, the game's happening so fast, and it's so it's so exciting. To be honest, I don't even remember that. But, I mean, maybe, maybe that was one of the shots that got him going. I know he, he – Got going, hit about three or four threes um, during that run. So, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate we lost, though. You guys have been riding defense pretty much all year long. First half, they kind of, you know, took it to you. Was it just them being hot, or was it something that you guys were not able to do at that during that stretch of the game? I think it was just a lack of energy. We just came out flat. Um and if we come out flat, that's what's going to happen because, again, we're aware that everybody's going to give us their best shot. Uh, I don't want to sit up here and say that we are the best team because we haven't done anything to establish that yet. But, uh, you know, we're one of the better teams in the NBA. And so, you know, and we're the Warriors. And so everybody's going to come here and give us their best shot and we got to come out ready to play. They came out ready to play, um, came out wanting to win. Uh and so, you know, we had to make some adjustments. We got to rely on our defense. Because um, when you get stopped, you get easy buckets, get in transition. And, you know, when, when we're in transition, we find easy shots. JP, Steph, D. Lee. Um, 
we weren't getting many stops, so it was harder to score. And uh, like I said in an interview yesterday, statistically across the board for every team, you know, your uh, <clears throat> execution goes down when you're playing against a set defense. And they were scoring every time, so we had to play against a set defense more often than not coming back down. So um, our our defense was non-existent in the first few minutes. Uh, Juan, uh, tonight's loss aside, does it kind of feel like all the pieces of the puzzle in this team kind of fit perfectly? And how much credit do you think uh, Bob Myers deserves for this start? Um, I think everybody deserves credit. I mean, it's all of us collectively. I mean, starting with Bob, obviously he brings the team together. Uh, then down to Steve and the assistant coaches and then down to our leaders and, you know, role guys like myself, uh, everybody understanding what their job is and coming in and having the uh, we all have the same goal. And so, um, you know, uh, yeah, I think everybody deserves credit. But, you know, shout out to Bob for putting this team together. We got a deep team. Uh, we got a hell of a team. You know, we had like six guys not here tonight or uh, whether it be due to injury or the young guys down in the G League. So, I mean, those are bodies that can play a, at this level and compete. And so, um, yeah, man, shout out to Bob. Did a great job putting this team together. Still got uh, some some work to do and still got a lot of room to grow and a lot of improvement, I feel like. All right, let's go to one on uh, Zoom. Christos, go ahead. Hello, Juan. Hope you're doing well. What did you learn about your team overall on uh, tonight's game? Um, I feel like we're a persistent team. We're a great team. We're a good team. Because uh, it's a long season. Uh, some games are going to be like that. Uh, but it's about how you respond. We could have easily just said, you know what, whatever. It's a back-to-back and kind of just, you know, rolled the wave and lost by 15 or whatever. But we fought to the end, and I'm proud of my team for that. So uh, we're a persistent team, um, full of perseverance, and uh, I'm happy to be a part of this team. Great. Thank you. Appreciate that. Steph will be in here in a couple minutes.